Hello, my name is Eileen Doman, and I'm the Senior Vice President, Chief Nursing Officer for Mary Washington Healthcare. Thank you for joining us today for a very special recognition, a donation of a cuddle cot to Mary Washington Hospital. Mary Washington Hospital takes great pride in providing the highest level of neonatal care in our region through our level three neonatal intensive care unit. But sometimes, despite the best efforts of parents, providers, and the best technology that we can offer, death can occur through miscarriage, stillbirth, and neonatal death. We are very proud to accept the donation of a cuddle cot so that we will be able to provide an option for bereaved parents to be able to spend time with their baby, to be able to form a bond, and to be able to say goodbye. I'd like now to introduce Xavier Richardson, the president of the Mary Washington Hospital Foundation, who was instrumental in working with Ashley's Embrace and facilitating the donation of the cuddle cot to Mary Washington Hospital. Xavier? We are pleased that Mary Washington Hospital is a recipient of Cuddle Cot, courtesy of a generous financial contribution made by the Schlesinger family to Ashley's Embrace. After suffering a loss of their first baby through stillbirth, the founders, Aaron and Anthony Maroon, created Ashley's Embrace with a mission of increasing awareness of Cuddle Cots and making them available to parents throughout medical facilities in the United States. To date, Ashley's Embrace has raised over $440,000 and have placed over 80 cuddle cots throughout the country. We are very fortunate that the Schlesinger family, originally from the Washington, D.C. metropolitan area, requested that their donation to Ashley's Embrace be used to provide cuddle cots systems in this region. Through networking and connections made possible through our perinatal bereavement counselor, Tammy Ruiz Ziegler, we are grateful to receive the donation of a cuddle cot and to provide this additional support to grieving parents at Mary Washington Healthcare. I am pleased to introduce Tammy Ruiz Ziegler, Perinatal Bereavement Counselor for Mary Washington Healthcare. Hello, my name is Tammy Ruiz Ziegler and I'm a nurse here at Mary Washington Hospital. My specific job is I'm the Perinatal Bereavement Coordinator, so I take care of families experiencing pregnancy loss and infant death across the spectrum. So I work with people having miscarriage, stillbirth, and neonatal death. We have um, really discerned in our care model that there is no such thing as giving too good of care. We really want to um, continually elevate the care that we're able to give to families when they're in a bereavement situation. And the amazingly generous gift that we have today will be used on our mother-baby unit where the mothers will be recovering from delivery so that they can spend more time with their babies who have lived very short lives. This will um, be able to give the families a chance to say hello and have that meaningful bond that they will need so that they can say goodbye and perhaps get on a trajectory of healing so that the family can do well despite harrowing circumstances. So we very much appreciate this, will, which will allow us to continue to um, integrate the care that we give here in a way that is helpful for families and meaningful for them and allows them to get the best care that we can possibly give. Thank you. We're happy to be here today uh, for this dedication to bring one of these cuddle cots here to Mary Washington Hospital. Uh, we just hope that it, uh, mainly that it doesn't get used very often, but we know from our own experience uh, how uh, grateful we were that there was something like this uh, at the hospital uh, so that we could fly out from Virginia and at least see and hold Mason uh, after what happened to him, after he passed. And uh, we hope that this brings the, I don't know, the right word, relief, whatever, to others uh, in this situation who have lost young loved ones. Well, I just wanted to reiterate what Steve said. Uh, I hope it collects dust and it never is used, but it was a godsend for us and Emily and Michael and the whole family. And we are so happy to be here for this dedication. 
coupled with our perinatal bereavement services, we are happy to have the cuddle cot available to be offered to parents in a situation when they have suffered an unimaginable loss. Thank you to all of those that have joined us today, most especially to Mr. and Mrs. Schlesinger for their very generous donation and Ashley's embrace for making the donation of the cuddle cot possible to Mary Washington Hospital. Thank you for joining us. When we care for families after a death of a baby who has died just before birth or just after birth, like sweet little Mason here, we um, find it really important to keep the family together so that they can have some special time. Be by using this special um, bed um, and this whole unit, it allows the baby to stay cool so that it extends the amount of time that the family can stay together. So this cradle was actually invented specifically for this purpose and it has insulative um, properties to it. And then inside this box is a special cooling uh, machine and um, some cables that connect a pad that goes at the bottom of the crib so that um, cool water will continuously flow through it and very seamlessly and quietly and subtly keep this area cool so that the baby is able to stay cool and extend the amount of time that they can stay with their family. So we um, definitely will be able to uh, improve the level of care that we're able to give for families in the moment.